welcome back. It's been ages since I filmed a video and I'm thinking about doing a video as to why that's been. Um, I've got a few videos coming up anyway that will give you some kind of idea, so I'm not going to talk about that too much. Um, but I am going to start my videos back with a what I got for my birthday video. My birthday was back in November, um, but unfortunately I haven't been able to film since then. Um, I actually went home for my birthday, which I haven't done in ages. It was my 30th birthday, so I thought it would be great to spend it together with my twin sister. Um, and then I also had a celebration back here with my friends when I got home. So, that's it. Usual disclaimer, I'm not bragging. I love these videos. I love watching these videos, hence therefore I am making one. Um, and I just thought I would show you what the people in my life decided to get me for my birthday. So, I'm going to start off with my parents. Um, the first thing they got me is my ultimate favourite scrub from Soap and Glory. It's the Scrub of Your Life. Um, guaranteed, um, I'm going back to England for Christmas. I will be picking myself up some more of these. Um, you can't get Soap and Glory here. And this scrub for me is like the best scrub out there that I have ever tried. So if you're looking for a new body scrub, I highly, highly recommend this one. I love it. They also got me a um, USB memory card reader. Um, I recently got a new laptop um, which I intend to um, edit videos and such on, you know, go and sit in a coffee shop on my days off so I'm not stuck in the house, um, but my laptop doesn't have a memory card slot. So I needed one of these, I told them I needed one so they got me one so I'm super excited that I can start using that. And last up for my parents, also something else that I had asked for slash suggested, is a new tripod. This is the empty box because I'm filming on it right now. This is the first time I'm using it and I absolutely love it. I am able to sit on a chair rather than on the floor. You can see my new DIY thing that hopefully you will see in a video coming up soon. But yes, I got a new tripod. Um, my one, I think it only goes to about my old one only goes about a metre high and I really wanted a taller one and um, it makes it so much easier as well for when you're filming like um, I've never filmed an outfit video but like try on hauls for example um, before I would have to like balance my tripod on top of boxes and things so you could see like all of me so I'm super excited I'm not gonna have to do that anymore so yes they are the three presents from my parents okay moving on to my sisters the first thing I have to show you is this card that my twin sister had made for me. Now, I'm sure a bunch of you are going to think this is gross, but this is me and my sister and pretty much what our family are like. So, as you know, we are twins. She got me this card that says, Happy 30th birthday, you overdeveloped afterbirth. So, this comes from the fact that um, my parents were having trouble conceiving um, and they were going to go to start like fertility treatment and on the day of my mum's first appointment she had her period so I phoned them and said hey should I still come they said yes so they did a check and it turns out that she was already pregnant with twins at the time so you know not that we're miracle children or whatever but as we were twins she was born first she always says that she was intended for she joked obviously this isn't like serious but she jokes that she was intended for and I was a mistake or an overdeveloped afterbirth so I tell her that she was just pre -cum. yes that is our family dynamic you are now in the loop um, from my twin sister she also got me this necklace I will have to do a close-up of this because you won't be able to see it very well at all but it's this r really delicate rose gold chain and it just has this little heart pendant at the bottom um, so this is super cute and it's just going to go with absolutely everything and I love rose gold. And then my twin sister and my older sister also got me a few presents together. Um, again, they were asking for suggestions and ideas and a lot of them was based around my laptop. Um, so they had this made for me and this is a sticker. So this part here is a sticker to go onto your laptop. So obviously it's got my current logo on the top. Um, with obviously the Apple symbol and it's got everything's better in Terryland at the bottom which you will see around my blog and YouTube and whatnot. So now I've shown you this, I can finally actually stick it onto my laptop. They also got me a like clear plastic protective case which I also was hoping for a case 
So when I'm taking my laptop out, I don't have to worry about breaking it so much because I'm quite clumsy. Um, this probably, oh, you can kind of see it. It's one of those clear silicone-y um, like keyboard protectors and also um, some screen protectors. So the second I finish filming this, I am going to get all those on my laptop so we are ready to be used out into the wonderful wide world. Okay, so as I said before, I was home for my birthday. Now, I've not lived in England for many, many, many years, so I don't really have um, any friends back there apart from one. Um, and my sister, my twin sister, threw a birthday party one of the evenings. Um, so I didn't really know anybody there apart from my family um, and a couple of people that I saw maybe before at her wedding, for example. But my sister's best friend, Sophie, who I have met before um, a few times, she wanted to get me a little something, so she picked up this super cute purple um, champagne flute with 30 in gold writing, and I just thought that was cute that she thought of me, seeing as she's my sister's friend. And then somebody else, and I can't for the life of me remember her name, I've never met her before um, or anything, but... Um, she got me a present also, and um, she was saying, I just couldn't come and not bring you anything either, um, which I thought was adorable, and she was absolutely lovely. Um, so she picked me up this wax burner from Yankee Candle. I was super excited because, again, we can't get Yankee Candle here, or I've never been able to find it at all. Um, so it's this little wax burner, so you put a tea light here in the bottom. And then there was also some wax melts included, so we have summer peach, we have ginger dusk, and we have shea butter. So once again, now I've shown you, I can finally start using it, and I also found some wax melts yesterday in the supermarket, so I picked up some cinnamon ones and some vanilla ones. So I'm super, super, super excited to start using that. Okay, so on to my best friend, who is now the only friend I have back home. Um, she got me a pair of boots and this was basically she had done a new look order and while I was at her house she was trying everything on. She bought these boots for herself and I thought they were absolutely gorgeous so she immediately jumped on her iPad or laptop um, and ordered me a pair. Um, so they look like this, this is where my lightning starts to go crazy I'm sure. Um, so they are just this nice kind of kind of brownie, mauvey, no, are they mauvey? No, they're more brownie. Um, they've got dark brown kind of elasticated bits here. Black um, sole, nice little small chunky heel, so comfortable for everyday wear. And then they have this cute little gold tip, which I think just makes them that little bit more special. Once again, I have not yet worn these. Sticker's still on the bottom, because I've been waiting to show you guys. So, yay, I might wear them today. So my best friend also picked me up this bracelet. Again, I will do a close up on this because you won't be able to see it properly. Um, it's from Thomas Sabo. I think you say that right. And it's this gorgeous little silver bracelet. So it's on this little chain and it has multiple parts that you can close it, which for me is perfect because I have tiny, tiny wrists. So it actually fits. One side, so it has this little drop um, circular silver pendant. And this side has the, um, infinity symbol and on the back it has T and S which she had engraved in it which are, are our initials which I think is just absolutely adorable and <coughs> can't wait to wear it I'm so excited how many times am I going to say I'm so excited in this video lots probably but that's because I actually am so excited okay so moving on to the presents I received when I came home so um, some, me and some of my work colleagues, we went out one night to celebrate my birthday um, and a few of them had put, had put some money together to get me um, a gift. So they picked me up, first of all, this nail polish from Dior. When I saw the Dior bag, I was like, oh my goodness, I have never bought myself anything from Dior, I've never had anything from Dior, I will probably never be able to afford to buy myself anything from Dior. But they picked me up this nail polish. It's a gorgeous pink colour and it's actually what I have on my nails right now because um, I painted them last night. And this is in the colour Ruben or Ruban. I'm guessing Ruben. And it's the number 268. It is absolutely gorgeous. It does take three coats to get it um, opaque, but um, it dries really quickly in between coats so it doesn't take too long at all. They also picked me up something from the new Nutcracker collection from MAC. They all know how obsessed I am with makeup, so of course that's 
what they were aiming to get for me. Now look how cute this package is. I mean, it's just adorable. So it's a magnet closure. There you go, which I like. Let me get rid of the plastic inside so you can actually see the shadows. Okay. Why is my lighting going so crazy? I might need to do a close-up of this as well. I will, I will see. Um, is it better if I hold it over here? Slightly. Um, it has some really unique colours in it, actually. Um, so I'm really excited to experiment with this yellow colour. I'm thinking maybe in the crease with um, some like deeper orangey tones or browner, more warm colours. Um, and it has this really nice kind of um, shimmery green colour that I'm excited to try. But it has a nice array of matte colours. <coughs> oh, sorry. Matte colours along with shimmers. Um, and so far the only one I've swatched is the yellow because me and the girl that actually picked it up were dying to know what it was like, you know, when it was swatched. So again, can't wait to get swatching and having a play with that. Also, one of my colleagues, um, actually, he's my work husband. He calls me, so, <clears throat> what is wrong with my voice today? He calls me his work wife, um, and I call him my work husband. He has a long-term girlfriend and kid and everything, so it's nothing like that. Um, but we're super close. Um, and I believe he'd asked for some suggestions from some of my female colleagues that know me quite well. Um, so he picked me up the Snow Fairy Shower Gel from Lush, Lush in the giant size. This has been sitting in the bag torturing me as well because I've been dying to use it. In fact, you can see, you probably can't. Oh, yeah, you can, look. This is where, because it's been sat on its side, all of the glitter has kind of accumulated. So I'll give that a good shake around. But he didn't smell this until he gave it to me and I was like, did you smell it? And he was like, no, I was like, here, you have to smell it. Oh, oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. And this is going to last me an incredibly long time. So, yay. Can't go wrong with a good bit of Snow Fairy. I also got from, he's actually an old colleague of mine that doesn't work with me anymore, but we're still in touch. He picked me up this um, set from, I'm going to say Gamilla Secret. I think that's how you say it. I'm not really sure. But it has a foot balm, a cleansing bar, a face oil, and a hand cream inside. So this is what they look like. So again, foot balm. The face oil is Wild Rose. It says that on there. Um, the cleansing bar and the hand cream. It smells very... It does say on here, I think, 100% natural ingredients. The purest vegetable oils. So I'm really excited to try it with them being natural and seeing how well they work. Ooh, messing around in the glass jars behind me. I also got a couple of gift cards for some work colleagues. So I got a gift card for Douglas. Again, they all know me so well, it means I can go buy myself some more makeup. And then I got a gift card from Hunker Muller, which is like a lingerie store. And for some reason, I actually love buying myself lingerie, so this is gonna be perfect. But what I think I'm gonna get with this I'm actually planning on starting swimming, to go swimming for exercise next year. Um, and last time I was in Hunkamala, they had a really cute swimming costume in there. So I think I am going to use this to get that. I think. Who knows? I might go in there and get distracted by all the pretty bras and underwear. But that's my intention. And the last thing is actually a gift I bought myself. And this was in the airport on my way home from England. So I popped into Victoria's Secret because there's nowhere else you can get Victoria's Secret from, apart from in the airport. Um, I should mention, by the way, I also got some money from some family members, um, which I'll be hopefully spending, because it's pounds, um, when I go back for Christmas. Um, and I got a bottle of champagne from another auntie and uncle, which unfortunately I couldn't bring back with me because it was super heavy. So that's still at my parents' house in England. Back to Victoria's Secret, I picked up some underwear. Um, so it was five for 20 pounds. Um, they are pretty kind of bog standard underwear, but I think they're also always very useful. Um, and they are super, super soft. So I basically got four that are like this. So they're the kind of hot pants style underwear. The material is so soft. So I got this pair. I got the same kind of thing in reds and pinks. 
lighting is going crazy. I've got a standard black pair, which you can't go wrong with, and a grey pair. And then this one is a slightly different style. It's still kind of on the full-on granny panty style, but I like granny panties and I'm not going to apologise for it. So they are these bright, bright, like fluorescent pink colours. And on the back, they say Angel New York. Because, let's face it, who doesn't want to be a Victoria's Secret model? They are absolutely stunning. They have so much fun. I, I'm obsessed with Victoria's Secret models. I think they are stunning. The other thing I got from there was a new perfume. Um, this is the Noir Tease perfume. I'm going to open it for you so you can see the bottle. Um, I like really, really sweet smelling perfumes. And this is Black Vanilla, Frozen Pear and Blooming Gardenia. It's super sweet. I always say when I'm looking for a new perfume, or when anyone asks what my style is in perfume, I always say that I want to smell like I taste yummy. Um, so I have the um, YSL Black Opium, which is super sweet. I have my always favourite Britney Spears Fantasy Perfume, which smells like candy floss. Um, so I like really sweet perfumes. Another thing that I loved about this... Oh, okay, I need to attach it, so that's a little bit annoying. But it has, it comes with one of these little, what is up with my voice? One of these little um, spray things. So you spray your perfume on like they did in the old days. And I've always, always, always wanted a perfume like that. I might be like a child, but well, you know, I don't really care. And this is the bottle. So I got the 100ml bottle because there really wasn't much of a price difference between <clears throat> the 50ml and the 100ml. So it made more sense money-wise to go for the 100 mil. So I'm going to get in a mess if I try and do this now. But basically this goes on here. And you spritz your perfume all over you. Yay, that's out of the box now. I can also start using that. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to go before <clears throat> my voice entirely cuts out on me. I don't know what is going on. I did have a throat infection last week. So maybe it's the leftovers of that. But this is everything that I got for my birthday. Um, my videos might be a bit sketchy with uploading. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do them every week. Um, but I'm going to try and then I'm going to try my best to get back on it properly for 2017. As per usual, if you are not subscribed to my channel already and you like what you see, then please hit the subscribe button. It means a lot. For all of you that are still subscribed, I love you. Um, if you liked the video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And that's it from me. If nobody's told you yet today, I think you're beautiful, I love you, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Have a good day.